so the final step on the the actual app itself is to change so we only have three items on here we want to focus on those three daily tasks um, on there now what you'll see is we we have a uh, search box here which you can see from there is called text search box one and if we click on the item here you can see that th there's a sort applied to the content on there so it's it has some sorting there on the sort descending which is this button there whether that's ascending or descending it will change based on the title but it also has this filter here so you can see it's filtering that daily tasks for anything that starts with the text content of text search box one so what we're going to do is instead change that so we'll get rid of the text search box one um, and just a warning that you'll, you'll see that comes by default with these um, that it pops up and tells you where text search box one is being used so we can see what that's what the warning there is related to now if we just bring this item down a bit and what we're going to do is add a button above so rather than setting the the content based on that um, text box we're just going to add a button there and you can see that by default it gets called button one let's just rename that to today button and or there let's also set the text for that just to be today today and then we can filter things based based on here so let's let's try and work on that filter so rather than having a starts with what we want to filter is where the task date equals let's just temporarily set it to now and if we run that content there and refresh that then we'll get an up and working which is uh, what happens when you do things wrong What uh, we, we should instead do is just do it where date difference. That's trying to get the literal exact time now. So let's just do a date diff between the task date and now. And just get where that equals zero. And what you see now is we are getting things for 7th of March, which is for today. Now we'll see that that will automatically always filter for just for today, but we want to have the ability to maybe change that. So let's say when we click on this button, when that's selected, so we'll choose the on select. Let's just set a variable using update context. Let's just call it filter value. Oops, put some curly brackets around that. And set the filter value to zero. And now, instead of just saying equals zero, then we can say, let's make it set to the value of filter value. Now, because it is a text one, we, we just make a bit of value around that to make sure it uh, evaluates correctly. And that now, when you click on um, today, we'll set it to zero. And let's also add some icons. So we can have a look at tomorrow and also yesterday. So you can very quickly see what you've got planned for tomorrow maybe getting towards the end of the day wondering when you should do this now or do it tomorrow let's just add a button there and again on select we're just going to update context set filter value to minus one and then we're going to add a oops let's add another icon it's the left hand one for the other side and here same value update context filter value of one this time cool now my mouse does always go wrong and I often get this one wrong out so let's uh, give that a try and what you'll see is that's now set to tomorrow and if I say today and anything I had set for yesterday so we've now got the filters there if we click it again it will just reset it to that now you could add this to increment so you could go forward and forward through different days but i like to keep it very simple just on now tomorrow and yesterday um, you will notice that we've added some items up there you've got an invalid name 
the reason for that is by default it adds this text box in there uh, this box in there with the height the same height as the search box so let's just delete that and the same with this one as well and that just clears those items out that aren't used that they were all related to the search box itself and then the only other thing I do is to uh, if we set on the screen let's just let me change back to the screen itself So if we go onto the browse screen, there's actually some actions on there. So you can say when it's on visible, you can set a value. So rather than have it uh, in, in limbo, um, let's just set the filter value. Let's say context on filter value to default to today whenever it navigates to that screen. And there you will see we now have a working application. If the mark things is complete. We can move them to tomorrow. And we can look at what we've got going on today. And we can say that we finish off that Power App. So let's now mark that as completed.